That's just is looking beautiful in the um in the rain. It's just about to start raining. Very beautiful. The clouds coming down over toe high. Des is looking more beautiful than ever. Beautiful baby. Um but it won't last soaked. long because it never does. What me looking beautiful? No. Oh. The rain. Oh okay, good. Good. Right. Run Sammy. How far can you go? Downhill? It'll be quite a long way. Uphill? Not very far. How many think you hadn't used your legs for a month? After recovering from our Pacific crossing, we spent a couple of weeks in Taiohe Bay exploring the town. Uh, we hiked over the hill to Colette Bay for bodyboarding with the other kids. We explored the town, we filled the boat full of food, ready to head out of the bay to explore the rest of the island of Nukuhiva. Dares worked on the engine. He replaced the fuel hoses that we suspected were leaking. That was tricky in itself. The hose he had measured uh, turned out to be a different diameter to all the other hoses on the boat. So we spent ages trying to source the correct size hose from Tahiti, only to find the actual size we needed was sold in a shop just up the hill in the town. So Fat Susan finally sailed out of the bay with all of our friends, perhaps a little bit behind the other boats because the windlass wouldn't work, and headed out to sea towards Daniel's Bay. Dolphins. Dolphins. Uh, so fun and games here on Fat Susan. I can. Just on our yeah. Yeah. Is that that's Max out there? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we've had a bit of an issue again. We were just heading round to Daniel's Bay for the first time um, and the engine's buggered again. So we've got two dinghies coming out um, to try and help us. <laughs> There's loads of dolphins around the boat, which is very lovely. Can't really appreciate it at the moment. Um, I don't know if you can see that on the, on the video. Ooh, a poo over there looking beautiful and majestic and a bit King Kong-like. Uh, Dare's completely stressed. Sam, cool as cucumber. Um, and it looks like we're going to have to be towed in again. Ooh. Whoop. Well, it was bloody whoop. Oh, uh, wasn't it though, Sam? So much fun. Yeah. I and now it. it's, it's embarrassing enough being towed in once. We're about to be towed in for a second time into the same bloody bay. It's all going well. Rubbish. Look at those dolphins though. Hi! Great. Right. Right. How's he doing? Oh. Handheld. Amaryllis, this is Fat Susan. Shall we go to 7 3, have it? Go ahead, Amaryllis. Yes, he's uh, he's buzzed out here, um, so he's just by our oh. at the moment. Now his engine's uh, all fine; it's working well for him. Um, our engine is back up and running, and as long as we uh, run slowly, it seems to be steady. Thank you so much for coming out, and let's really appreciate your uh, time um, just to come out and give us a hand. Uh, I hope you make it back safely. Any problems, give us a shout and we'll send Max to rescue you. <laughs> Max is harassing the dolphins. 
Well, there's lots of them and they're big. I don't know if you can see them. I've got polarizing glasses on. So a lovely day then. Um, We're finally back in the bay after. We didn't actually need towing this time, but we can only idle. So it's taken hours. We've hours. ruined Max and Bianca from Space Grocer's day because mm -hmm. they were leaving today and now they're not. Yeah, we knackered Amaryllis' outboard engine. Oh uh, yeah, and he was coming out to save us. And the, and the swell was that big there, he sucked up a load of gunk into his carp, so he had to come back on one cylinder, now he's just cleaned his carp. Bless him. Bless him. The windlass is knackered. It took us half an hour to raise the anchor. And it sucks the joy out of the cruising experience, I would say. It's like a little vampire going... So the engine works? Yes, it does. But only if you idle, it turns out. Under load. Anything else? Yeah. And it lasts a little while. And then goes... <laughs> and dies. And dies. But you're getting quite good at... Three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes? Three and a half minutes it took to me... To reprime it. To get it going again. To um, lift the sole boards, uh, get half a... Oh, now 250 mil of diesel out of the tank, slosh it into the primary filter, screw it all back down again, and pump, 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 get the air out of the system. Three and a half minutes, start to finish. It's pretty good. I think that's pretty damn good. So as long as we stay three and a half minutes away from him and death, we should be fine. So tomorrow it's uh, more fuel line changing. I'm going to change the filters. I'm going to change all of the seals on that primary filter again, just in case, you never know. Uh, and I'm then going to clean all the connections up to the windlass. Uh, another fun, fun, fun thing to do tomorrow is the foot pump in the bathroom oh, has stopped working. So we now it? can't use the sink in there because it's filled up the bottom of the cupboard underneath the sink with mucky Spitty water. Spitty toothpaste water. Yeah. So I've got that to do tomorrow. I'm going to take that pump apart. Okay. So it's now... Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Look, the sun's gone down. Can't really see that, can you? you know, the sun's gone down. It's five o'clock. We've ruined Space Grocer's day. They were leaving today, and now they can't. Um, and he didn't. We didn't even need him. Bless him. No, he was a, a. But he's a, so lovely. A psychological cushion. We did need him. And it means that um, he only has a thing for minor excuse tomorrow, and he can listen or watch the snooker finals tomorrow. And Ronnie O'Sullivan's in the final. Needed the last three frames to get through the semi final, he managed it. So, um, I imagine there's going to be fireworks on um, Space Grazers tomorrow. Good. Good. We'll take them some beer around soon. It's so dangerous to go to Space Grazers with alcohol. It's quite dangerous going to Space Grazers without alcohol. <laughs> yeah, really. Because they've got some normally. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. There we go. Anyway, let's go. Let's do something good. We're back in the same place we were this morning. We haven't moved. We have moved, we've moved quite a long way. We've moved all day. <laughs> and now we're really friends because Juice South and Backers have left. They've gone round to, everybody's around in the next bay and we're left behind as usual. Left behind. The sole kid boat <laughs> yeah. is moving on. Every, all the other kid boats are gone. Oh, apart from Space Grazer. But their yeah, kids the, are- Their kids are a bit weak. They're hard. tiny, aren't they? Yeah. So anyway, they go. Oh, golly, we Right, cheers. Cheers. So. Yes. <laughs> so this morning, due south, um, and Safira turned up back in the Anchorage at, um, Tire high uh, and said, We are going to clean your fuel, um, otherwise, you'll be stuck here forever. So, lovely, lovely people turned up and cleaned off fuel. They are now over there. So, they took hours. Poor Perry had his arms in our fuel tank for about two hours. 
Um, and now we are heading over. So we're just testing out the engine, seeing what happens, and we'll see um, see how it goes. Um, ooh, we got loads of rubbish out of the fuel tank. Um, and now we are in a lovely flotilla. Hoping to God that the lemon thing doesn't conk out again. Definitely, yeah. Are you okay? Moment. You're having a sphincter clenching moment. Oh, quite tense. So we're nearly there. We are nearly there. Um, we've been running for an hour or something. How long has the track been? Long time. Uh, hour and a half. Hour and a half. Right. Sam, not too close to well, the lovely Safira, who, as Sam just pointed out, we don't anchor this close. No, <laughs> no we were this close before and they moved. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't quite as in control then, though. Mind you, we might not be in control either. Well, baby. So dead? Yes. We're not dead? No, we're not. We're still afloat. Uh, the engine is still running. We've run it hard for a couple of hours. Uh, really hard. There's a little bit of air getting in, but that might be due to uh, lack of fuel in the fuel tank. So we'll bang everything that we've got in, in the fuel tank uh, before we set off tomorrow. Cool. Um, God, it's like when we first got Susan and we were coming out of Fox's Marina. <laughs> so on edge. Uh, but we saw our first manta ray. Unbelievable. Absolutely massive and beautiful. Just glided past us as we were coming in. We all saw it apart from the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see it. Perhaps we shouldn't mention it again. Perhaps sorry. don't mention it again. Anyway, though. here's to a successful trip with some polished fuel. Good. We're going to go over to the south for some popcorn. Popcorn. Oh yes, and some deep fizzing. Mm. Well done. Well done, us. So uh, we were there, which is tail high. Bay, tail high. Come around this way. And now we're in bay. The controller and bay. Homey. There we are. And tomorrow, Snookahiva, we're going to head round where that pink thing is. So up here to, what's it called? Anaho. 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 Next to Hattie Ham. Beautiful. scenery is amazing. So that's where we came in. So we came back over that. Pretty beautiful. And as Des said, some of us, some of the crew, saw a manta ray on the way in. So Des, with hindsight, what was the problem with the engine in the in the end? In the end, uh, I think we had two problems with the engine. Uh, the first problem we had was with the fuel lines um, going from the fuel tank uh, through all the filters into the engine then back out again. Uh, they were clearly old and had started to perish and I think they were uh, letting air into the system. Um, the second problem we had was that the fuel tank itself was mucky. Uh, the fuel tank had been painted when the boat had been made and that paint started to flake off. Um, and with all the rough weather we had getting out of the Bay of Panama, all of those paint flakes, which had probably settled down in the bottom, were all stirred up and mixed up. Um, There's no coarse filter on the fuel pickup. Um, so we were probably getting paint flakes sucked on the fuel pickup, which was causing the engine to starve. Um, and as it was sucking, the because um, the fuel hoses themselves were perishing, uh, we were able to get air sucked into the fuel lines which is why every time the engine stopped, there was no fuel in the primary filter. So I think it's just a combination of old fuel lines and old mucky fuel. Um, replacing fuel lines, polishing the fuel, putting that coarse filter on, um, seems to have solved the problem. We've not had any issues since. I thought that coarse filter was, was, was my favorite kitchen sieve, so. It was, but it was a beautiful sieve. So what were you sieve. thinking? Well, um, I unfortunately put Susan ahead of um, sieving things and we did go and get you a very special 
new plastic sieve. Plastic sieve. Yeah, well, they didn't sell metal ones. When we get somewhere that sells metal ones, darling, I'll buy you a new sieve. A really lovely one. Beautiful. I should think so too. Yeah. So ultimately, it was dodgy hoses, paint flakes in the engine, and their fuel. Yeah. No uh, filter on the pickup mm -hmm. thingy magical. Yeah. And there was nothing we could have done that and done about all that in the Pacific, was it? Uh, no, there's no way we could take the fuel out and polish it in the Pacific. Um, we did try swapping fuel hoses around um, to try and alleviate the problem, but uh, I think we ended up replacing 10 metres of fuel hose just because of the route from the tank into the engine and back again. Uh, and uh, we, didn't take, we didn't carry 10 metres of fuel hose, so there's nothing we could have done to fix it. Fab, but it's all fixed now. Uh, we are now several months later when I'm making this video and we haven't had any more problems with the engine. No, it's all been fine. So far, lots of other things, obviously. Yeah, everything else, yeah. Everything else is broken, but... But the engine's fine! Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? It's brilliant. Well done, us. Well done, us. <laughs> Next time we have lots of fun on the beaches of Anaheim. How oh, very rude. Hi.